Hey guys, so today on Masculinity Mondays, we're going to talk about something that I think is very important. I think every man should know how to do, and that is we're going to talk about how to tie a tie. We're going to look at the three main knots that I think every guy should know how to tie, when to use them, how to do them. So let's get into it on today's episode of Masculinity Mondays. Hey guys, I am Sam Geckler, as you know, and today on this episode of Masculinity Mondays, we are learning to tie a tie. We're going to look at the three main knots, the three knots that I think every guy should know how to tie. Um, you don't need to know the all 400 and some knots that there are. Uh, these aren't necessarily the craziest. They're not flipping the tie uh, around and making things look like a rose under your neck there. And it, it's not that. We're going to look at the four in hand, which looks a lot like a half Windsor. Um, it's even easier though. So the four in hand, the Nikki knot, and the Windsor, which is kind of the pinnacle, I think, of ties, especially for formal occasions. Um, it's not as crazy. Uh, none of them are super hard. If you watch this once or twice, you'll be able to tie all three of them, and you'll know what you need. All three of these, um, right before I show you how to tie them, I'll tell you when you would wear them, but these will get you through any situation possible when you would need a tie from uh, one to look casual with a pair of jeans and just a, a dress shirt, maybe a colored shirt like this, all the way to a uh, three-piece suit, uh, wedding, formal attire, whatever. So uh, I hope you'll stay tuned and we'll learn how to tie these three knots together. So for the four in hand knot, I guess I'll start back here and take a step up. It's super easy. Um, it, as I said, this is a, a time where you would be very formal. This is very casual, or I said formal, informal. This is a very informal knot. This is nothing, nothing fancy. It's a, a fairly small knot. It's kind of loose the way that it's tied. And so um, this would be like if you were wearing uh, a pair of jeans and you had a button down shirt and you just want to put a tie on to kind of dress up if you were, um, I don't know, going, going somewhere where it would be okay. It'd be like, a, this would be like an Olive Garden situation where you can dress up, you can play casual, whatever, but you say, okay, I'm kind of dress down jeans and maybe a dress shirt. Uh, I'm going to throw a tie on just to make myself look a little more uh, fancy, but this would be a good knot for that. So so what you're going to start, start with your short side and it's your long side with the fat end. You're just going to go over, standard way to start a tie, go all the way around, come up through the top, And pull it down through. Tighten it up. And say, I probably, you can probably say, I've seen that knot before. It's a very common knot. Uh, most times when I tie a knot like this, if I'm wearing a knot like this, I don't even button my collar. It's a very loose knot. The knot isn't even very tight. It just is kind of like, hey, I'm wearing a tie, you know, okay. But I wouldn't, I don't normally wear this for church. I know some guys do, they just tie it and, and but it's not my my preference. I like a Windsor or at least a Nikki knot for church normally. But this this tie or this knot will be sufficient for whatever you need. If this is the only knot you can tie, awesome. By the end of this video, you'll be able to tie more than just this. So this is the four in hand. This is a very informal, very casual. This would be normally worn with uh, maybe a button-down collar. Um, this is a little bit wider collar. This works good for a Nikki knot and a, a Windsor because you can see more of the tie. Uh, but it works fine for this too. Uh, this is a universal knot. You can wear it with whatever uh, shirt, whatever you need to. So uh, this would be an informal foreign hand knot. So our second knot that we're going to look at is uh, is the Nikki knot. Uh, this one is a little different than any of the other ones because of the first step. So you're going to take it uh, short end. You know, the long end is the fat end. And you're going to take it and flip the tie upside down. Okay, so uh, the tags and the seam is facing out. And then instead of going over with the long end, you're going to go over with the short end. Let me step a little closer and you see this. Go over with the short end. Take the fat end, wrap it around the short end. And then, so you got it this way. Then take it. Pull it out this way so it's going the same way as the short end. And then just take that, flip it over, go up, and through. Nice thing about this knot is that it's uh, smaller than a full Windsor, so you can wear it with either 
uh, collar time, uh, collar size, I should say, uh, whether it's a point collar or spread collar or even a button down collar. So it's smaller, but it's nice and symmetrical, uh, much like a Windsor is. See how squared off that is. Very, uh, very nice, very clean not uh, very utilitarian you can wear it for uh you can wear it for formal uh informal it's a very very good knot this is kind of becoming my go-to knot um unless i'm wearing a spread collar and i can tie a full windsor but this is a very good very uh formal looking very classy looking knot that you can tie so uh rewind if you need to this is a good knot this is becoming my go-to and i really like this one um this is m one of the more recent knots that i've learned how to tie but i think every guy should know how to tie it because it's so useful um if you need to be a little more classy than just a four in hand or a half windsor um and you maybe you want something a little more symmetrical a little more squared off uh this is a perfect knot to go to um if you aren't able to go to a full windsor uh because of whatever collar type or something like that so let's jump into the full windsor Alrighty, so our last knot, and probably the, the most difficult, but what I think is the, the pinnacle of formal knots is the, the full Windsor, or just the Windsor knot. I think this is a very important one for guys to know. It works very well for formal occasions. Um, I wear a lot of cufflink shirts with a spread collar, so I wear this a lot for church even. Uh, you can wear it. Uh, if, if you tie it right, it looks really good. So I'm going to show you how to tie it, and then show you how to... Um, a finishing touch for it uh, once we tie it. So uh, what you do is start, um, you might want to start with a little more on the long end. Uh, this uses a little more fabric than a normal, uh, the last two knots. So what you're going to do is go over the short end with the long end and just go up around the short end. You have this, then you come around, go up and around the long end Pull it, make sure it's symmetrical. So this is what you have here. You go around the front, up through the back, and down through. So that is your Windsor knot. Uh, so it's much more substantial than the Nikki knot, although it's the same shape, but it's much more substantial than uh, the Nikki knot, and it looks really good. Um, spread with a spread collar looks really good takes up a lot of that space it looks really good this is a go-to for if you're wearing a vest three-piece suit uh, definitely tie this because you can get away with a shorter tie uh, if you have a vest on get that knot looking real good let me show you just one quick trick uh, this could even be in a bonus episode but I'm giving it to you for free so you're coming when you are tying your knot uh, just do it all like normal come around come down through here come over the top and when you get to this point it's a little bit of a trick that will make it stand out take your finger put it up into here right in the middle and squeeze together because you're trying to make a dimple like I have here and then just pull it down and then straighten out the sides see that that's what you're looking for you're looking for a perfect dimple like that because that just adds a little bit more class. Uh, you can pull it. If you can't get it, just pull it straight. That's fine. That, that's a good looking knot. That's a, a good formal knot even. But if you can get that dimple, it just adds a little extra over the top for it. So uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this video with these three knots. I hope that you uh, will take it and, and learn each of these. I think it's very important for us uh, as masculine men uh, to know, remember our triangle that we've talked about, the, the spiritual uh, things most important definitely that's why we have it at the top of the triangle the manly things hunting and fishing things of that nature very important and then the formal things this definitely falls into one of those formal things that we need to know how to do tie a tie uh, but go back rewatch these learn these three knots maybe submit some knots down in the comments that you think we should all learn as well we'll make a video on those in the future but remember as you're being masculine uh, don't be a pretender be a contender